Hey everyone, it's January 24th, and that means that if today's your birthday, you shared with Galeazzo Maria Sforza, the Duke of Milan in the 1460s and 70s, who was known for murdering and cruelly torturing his subjects. And that is him right up there in a painting, not a photo. They didn't have cameras back then. Sforza was born into a noble family in 1444 in Fermo, Italy, which is near the eastern coast, roughly 150 miles from Rome. His father was the fourth Duke of Milan and was close friends with Cosimo de' Medici, who ruled Florence, and the two spearheaded the Peace of Lodi in the Italian League, which led to peace between varying factions in Italy that previously had been rivals. The elder Sforza was reportedly beloved by his people, though this probably means that he was beloved by the wealthy who lived there since the poor in fiefdoms are essentially slaves. In 1466, Galeazzo Sforza took over when his father died, initially ruling alongside his mother, and he developed a very different reputation amongst the people of Milan. Known for having a mean streak, he ruled with an iron fist. While he was a supporter of the arts, he is better known for the horrible actions he took during his time as Duke. Rumors abound that he had his own mother poisoned in 1468 in order to consolidate power, and he was a notorious womanizer who passed off women to his, to his advisors when he tired of them as if they were hand-me-downs. He had a penchant for raping the wives and daughters of those around him, and if anyone objected, he would have them executed by horrible means. When a poacher was caught, he forced the man to swallow an entire hair. Not cooked after dressing the animal, but whole, bones, fur, and all. He didn't survive. Another man was nailed inside a coffin and buried alive. A priest who predicted that Sforza wouldn't be in power long was held captive without any food, starving the man to death. He notoriously enjoyed personally dismembering the bodies of his enemies. Quite unlike his father, his behavior garnered him lots of enemies in Milan, and in 1476 they had had enough. Three members of his court devised a plan to kill Sforza, and they acted on the day after Christmas. The three waited for the duke in church, where they knew he'd be visiting. After a brief confrontation, Giovanni Andrea Lampunani stabbed him in the groin and chest. The two co-conspirators jumped in with their knives, helping put an end to his tyrannical reign. Lampunani was killed by a guard in the aftermath, and the other two were publicly executed a few days later, one of which said before the act was carried out, Death is bitter, but glory is eternal. The memory of my deed will endure. While his seven-year-old son officially became duke upon his death, his brother ran the show and imprisoned the boy, leading to another power struggle in the 1490s. And if you ever invent a time machine and can go back to feudal times, don't. It was an awful place. If this is your birthday, I hope you have a great day. Leave me a comment so I can wish you a happy birthday. If you know someone whose birthday it is today, send them this video so they can find out all about their birthday twin. And to Galeazzo Maria Sforza, I say, happy birthday, you bastard.